What's going on my dudes one step here and yes we finally got some more multiverses news and this is awesome season three is right upon us and they decided to give us a little bit of a teaser of what's to come including uh basically confirming some new characters which we'll go over in just a moment but off of the trailer they gave us right now first of all a really cool callback to like 90s commercials and all that you love to see it we got Thalion, we got nick cat we got ajax up here it, it, it is so cool to see all this it looks great i love the way they did this uh commercial style commercial in a way this new like ad for multiverses right off the bat we got new skins for bugs bunny jake rick it looks like as well they say right here new stages we got a new variant to townsville hall uh, i'm assuming this is all for like either a halloween or b this is just a variant to say like this is you know jojo's wreckage or whatever so we got a new variant to stage we already got but also the next one they show off this is a new stage we see all the gremlins in the background so like i'm guessing this is a, a cool gremlin stage I don't think we have a gremlin stage. So this is awesome. I mean, they are showing off uh, gizmo and stripe here So I, I, I'm definitely assuming so oh, there's the eggs. Okay. Now I'm seeing it right. Here. Yeah, I'm seeing Plus new skins coming to characters wonder woman's new skin velma and garnet We love new characters, but who doesn't want new skins as well? Let's be honest The real big question in the room is uh, how much are these gonna cost us? <laughs> Either they're part of the battle pass, which will be cool or they're gonna cost you yo pug new fighter confirm new mini games coming to the rifts mode which these look funner than the ones we've had so far in my opinion and then right at the end there of course they tease us with the big season three coming soon and not only that but they give us some silhouettes of the characters coming to season three this right here is uh, very clearly very clearly the powerpuff girls i mean right here uh this, this that is this pose right here this pose is what you see on screen right here. This is the silhouette of the Powerpuff Girls. So I, I don't think they can be more clear. Uh, I don't know why they gave us a silhouette of that. It, it's super clear. There's no, who's that Pokemon? That is very clearly the Powerpuff Girls. So we are getting the Powerpuff Girls, but a lot of you might be asking who the hell is this character? You, know, you might be making your guesses and something. And this is actually Nubia, big DC fan, in case you can't tell behind me. This is Nubia. She's basically the queen of the Amazons. She's basically, uh, I hate to use the words but uh, uh another wonder woman if you may she's got different weapons and a couple different abilities sure you see this uh this javelin spear weapon she uses yeah this is very clearly nubia i mean she looks awesome i love her design in the comics and all that so to see her in action for multiverses will be really interesting i wonder if, if she's gonna be like a variant for wonder woman kind of like a you know a premiere skin for wonder woman or if she's gonna be her own standalone character because i'm not gonna lie love nubia but she's kind of uh not a a well-known dc character like even if you know dc you you probably don't really ever hear of nubia that that often but out of all the dc characters they could have brought over aquaman shazam green lantern red lantern for people martian manhunter like there's just a lot uh i don't, I don't if this I, I don't know like i'm excited as a dc fan anyways interesting character choice for sure not only that but during one of their like uh, tv transitions we, we we see this right here and you might not think anything of it but if you look closely you can kind of make out this uh the star circle that would be used for like uh rituals or magic and stuff and i think this is a, a really Really clear call to Raven from the Teen Titans and that I love the Teen Titans I love DC so seeing Raven oh I want all of them I want Beast Boy Starfire Raven Cyborg Robin bring them all in I want them all uh, so I think we already have the Teen Titans tower as a stage where are the Teen Titans as playable characters I think this is our very first tease uh, personally uh, to Raven of the Teen Titans. Plus this uh, heart explosion animation is, an, is again another callback to Powerpuff Girls. So not only do we see their silhouette earlier, we see this transition right here. And yeah, that is a, a giant call to Powerpuff Girls without a doubt. They are all but confirmed at this point. Like they might as well just be confirmed. We're, we're getting the Powerpuff Girls. And I'm wondering if they're gonna act like a single character or are they gonna be all different characters? I doubt that, but I wonder how they're gonna make all three be become one character like how do you transition between the three powerpuff girls well if you want to find out we're getting a new gameplay trailer september 12th uh, they didn't specify a time which is in two days as of this recording and a release of this video and if you want to stay updated on all things multiverses like this you know what to do subscribe here for more duh we're getting new stages new stage variants as well coming for season three we're getting new character variants or cosmetics for the characters new mini games for wrist mode making wrist mode hopefully more fun and of course new characters two of which we know now are powerpuff girls and nubia possibly 
Raven, and I've heard people have been talking about the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz, so maybe there is something to that as well. I don't know. You guys, you guys tell me. You guys tell me. What are your thoughts on uh, this whole trailer that we got from Multiverses when it comes to the teasers for Season 3 again? Uh, new stages, new cosmetics, uh, new characters, and possible tease for more new characters and all this. I think Multiverses has a lot of amazing things. I know it has its issues that you guys might not agree with, but I think it's really headed in the right direction. I cannot wait to see where it goes for season three, season four, five, six. Let me know your thoughts down below, of course. Like I said, if you guys enjoy multiverses and other fighting game content, subscribe here for more. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses, news, guides, reactions, and more.